Dynamic marking blocks are a new feature introduced in Ship Constructor 2012 R2. Dynamic marking blocks allow project administrators to centrally define a marking block standard and then deploy it within a project. These blocks may contain any mixture of polylines and text, and the text can be static or dynamic. In a practical use, the blocks could be used to define bevel codes or alignment marks for application on plate parts. Dynamic marking blocks are defined in Manager by specifying a standard type to classify the dynamic marking blocks and then creating new dynamic marking block standards. Each standard corresponds to a single marking block which may be added to plates in structure model drawings. The dynamic marking block geometry is defined in the same way as our existing equipment standard drawings, with the added constraints that the drawing may contain only polylines and M-text. Notice that text within the drawing may be toggled as static text via a context menu, which means that upon insertion of the dynamic marking block, the user will not be prompted for this particular piece of text. Once the blocks have been set up in Manager, they may be used throughout the Ship Constructor project. Notice that the dynamic marking blocks act the same as other objects added to plates in Ship Constructor, in that they respect the identical relationships defined between plates. In addition to being able to be rotated and moved around on the plate surface, dynamic marking blocks may also be scaled before or after insertion. Once dynamic marking blocks have been added to plates, they will follow the ship constructor plates throughout the production process, creating or updating themselves in both production drawings and nests as appropriate. More information about dynamic marking blocks can be found on our website at www.shipconstructor.com.